You're watching Running Shoes Guru. My name's Brandon, and today I'm reviewing the Saucony Kinvara 14. This is my very first Kinvara. And Kinvaras of days gone by have had really firm rides with lean midsoles. And this is the opposite of the type of shoe I usually go for. But this Kinvara 14 is a completely different beast. It has a much thicker midsole, it's got a thicker Power Run Plus insole, and it's got this really stripped down minimal upper. It weighs 199 grams or 7 ounces and that's 0.2 ounces or 6 grams lighter than the Kinvara 13. It still has a 4mm drop and I suspect it will cost around 120 US dollars because last year's version went up by $10. This pair cost me 500 Malaysian ringgit. My first run was a 10 km easy run and it felt great immediately. The best words to describe the ride were smooth, lightweight and natural. The shoe that it reminded me most of was the Ride 15 from Saucony, but the landings of the Kinvara felt softer and overall it felt more nimble and more agile because of the lightweight build. I'm not used to running in 4mm drop shoes, but I didn't have any stiff calves or Achilles pain after the run. Even though this shoe is marketed as a speed trainer, I still find it really versatile. It's cushioned and stable enough for slow paces, and then when I want to pick up the pace, its lightweight build allows me to increase turnover and increase my cadence relatively easily. This is a really fun shoe, and I enjoyed it much more than I thought I was going to. It's got the same sole setup as the Ride 15 with a Power Run EVA midsole and then a soft Power Run Plus PU insole. But the main difference between the Kinvara 14 and the Ride 15 is that the midsole of the Kinvara 14 is thinner. So this makes it less cushioned and it's better for faster, shorter runs than the Ride 15. The biggest change to the Kinvara sole unit is the update from a thin Power Run Plus top sole to this mega thick Power Run Plus insole. And this adds extra cushioning softness. The Triumph 20, Guide 15 and Ride 15 all have this mega thick Power Run Plus insole. Now as a result of the thicker midsole and the thicker insole, the Kinvara 14 can handle much longer distances than previous Kinvaras. You could easily do a half marathon in the shoe, and you could even do a full marathon in the shoe if you prefer a firm ride. On the outsole, there are only two sections which have rubber coverage, and the rest of the outsole is uncovered Power Run foam. It's got a rib texture for better traction and I found traction really good in dry conditions and average in wet conditions. This uncovered Power Run foam is really abrasion and scuff resistant and after 80 kilometers of use I've been really impressed with how little wear is showing. However, the outsole of the Kinvara 14 still isn't as durable as say a daily trainer which has a lot more rubber coverage. The upper of the Kinvara 14 clearly takes inspiration from the Endorphin Pro 3 Racer. It's a really light, minimal and breathable upper. The thin flat tongue is fully gusseted and attached to an inner sleeve, but I still noticed significant lateral tongue slide. And that's because there's no loop on the tongue for the laces to go through and to hold it in place. The heel tab and collar are lightly padded and I experienced no heel slippage. The fit is true to size, but it has a narrow midfoot, forefoot and toe box. So it fits my narrow feet like a glove. It's also available in a wide 2E version if you need it. I think the Kinvara 14 is a really good update. Previous Kinvaras have never appealed to me, 
but this new version has been beefed up and modernized and it actually made me want to purchase it. It's a really fun riding shoe with natural and smooth transitions and I predict that this 14th version will make the Kinvara series popular once again. If you feel like the Saucony ride is too slow and bulky, then the Kinvara 14 is a much lighter, much more nimble shoe that can also be used as a daily trainer. It's not as durable as the Ride because it doesn't have as much outsole rubber, but it's also cheaper than the Ride. If you don't like stiff plated trainers, then the Kinvara 14 is an excellent speed trainer. It's light, it's responsive, and it's comfortable. It doesn't provide much mechanical speed assistance as the average plated trainer, so you have to work harder to increase your speed. I prefer using the Kinvara 14 for easy and steady paced runs. If you're a Kinvara fan and you're excited about this new version, let us know down in the comment section below. Thanks for watching my review and please remember to like the video and subscribe to Running Shoes Guru.